What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Trick Tutorial Tuesdays, a series on my channel where I break down a trick every Tuesday and I tell you what's up with it. And so today we're going to be looking at the heel rewind. Now I'm going to start off this video already. I don't do heel rewinds kind of like normal people to be honest. When I heel rewind, I kind of use the same foot that I start off my tail with, which is kind of contrary to what most people do. But we'll get into that. But alright, so heel rewind, of course, you're going to be doing a heel up and then kicking it back to your normal tail whip. So this one is actually a lot easier in my opinion than a whip rewind, even though I like whip rewinds better. Just because the heel whip, of course, is the harder tail up to do first. So you get that out of the way, and then you can kick it down to your normal whip. It's an easy one to catch, so you know what's up. But yeah, so what I was talking about is when most people do heel rewinds, now I ride regular here, if people were to do a heel rewind, they would basically use their front foot and kick it with their back of their foot and then continue to roll away, right? So if I were to do it again, my front foot would come off, kick it, and I'd land. But the way I do it, I don't do that. In fact, I mean, I can do this, but the way I do it is I kind of use the same foot, so I'd literally be like this. I mean, hey, when it comes to some tricks, guys, it's going to be all up to personal preference, and that's the way I do them. But I'm going to teach you guys how to hopefully do it proper, and maybe this way, too. But yeah, so with a heel rewind, I would probably go to, like, maybe a bank, get some speed there, resi flat, whatever it may be. Get enough speed so that we can get the whole heel up done and do the tail up after that. And essentially, it's the same thing as a whip rewind. You're going to want to be using your arms the entire time to propel the whip in whatever direction you want it to go. And then also, of course, getting a good base of a heel whip started off so that we can have the power to kick that back. And kind of contrary to whip rewinds, to me, a heel rewind, I kind of do do it more of a violent kick rather than kind of passive aggressively. So like when I do do a heel rewind, I'm going to do that heel fast and I'm smacking that whip back as fast as I can. Especially since it's a tail up, I can really bring that whip around really hard. And of course, half the battle is just knowing how to do the heel rewind motion. So of course, sit there with your scooter, try it out a couple times, understand how to get a good heel whip, and being able to kick it back and using your arms to propel it. So if you practice that movement, you start to understand what's up with the heel rewind it's going to help you out a lot more for when you're actually in the air to balance out doing the trick because of course you might be trying it for the first couple times and you're going to go do it and of course the scooter might land like sideways it's like you know you're going like this something like that and just essentially remember to just try to keep it underneath you start the heel up just kind of how you would normally would have it balanced out and of course from there hit the tail and kick that thing back now guys this is the first trick tutorial video where i actually would love to show you guys me doing one flat but i actually cannot even though i do do heel rewinds kind of unique with my same foot like this rather than you know, with the back foot for me it's still hard enough to where i can't do it flat honestly i could pretty much do it into any bank but not flat i will give it a time for you guys though Now since I can't do them flat, here's a clip of me doing them up a bank normally like a person should. And then also I have the version where I'm doing my same foot one. Just so you can see the difference between the two. But again, most of you guys probably won't be doing your heel rewinds or whip rewinds with the same foot. You'll probably be alternating your feet. So when I do my tail ups, I'm using my back foot to kind of kick that tail up or even the heel whip, I use my back foot. And once that tail up's actually moving, people use their front foot then to actually kick it with their feet to bring it around. So again, there's the drive across way. And then of course we have the real way where you use both feet. I honestly low key think the version where you're kind of kicking with the other foot, it looks cooler, but I do like using my same foot, so whatever. But if I were to advise you guys, which trust me I am, I'm making this video. If I were to advise you guys to do a certain way, I would definitely say to kick it with your front foot. Start the trick with your back foot, get the whole whip going, the heel whip, and then kick it with your front foot on the way back to a tail. That way I would say is probably gonna be the easiest way for you guys to do it, the best way, probably the most successful as well, so. But yeah guys, hopefully that helped you out on how to heel rewind. If it did, please drop a like on the video helps me and the channel out a bunch and comment down below what you guys want me to do for next trick tutorial tuesdays because we're knocking tricks out here and subscribe to the channel because we come out with videos every tuesday thursday and saturday so turn on post notifications don't don't miss them all right and until next trick tutorial tuesdays i'm out of here all right peace